Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you're working on a picture, you end up with the whites and blacks kind of being the wrong colour. So because you're the, if you're changing colour information, it can bleed into the into those monochromes. So for example, if here I'm putting on an HSL, and if I'm turning up the luminosity here, maybe with a bit of colour update as well. I've got this kind of washy look to the picture because particularly if you look down here these were black so if I turn this off here see the windows here were quite dark but with this adjustment the blacks have gone grey so I want to do something about that. So before I do that let's explain a little bit here about colour. So I can draw a picture here let's bring that onto here I'm going to pull off the colour here so it's right next to it, but I'll put it in the middle. Now if I'm going to change the colour of this, I can use these sliders to change the colour here. And what we find is when the, the, if you look at the maximum one and the minimum, when they're furthest apart, that's where we get saturated colours. But as you bring these together, they get sort of more muted, and as they come closer again, they become almost grey. And so when they're actually all the same, you're going to get a grey colour. So we want to be able to detect this. And we can do that by looking for the maximum and the minimum and taking the difference and working from there. So let's put this back up here. And we don't need that rectangle anymore. We want to duplicate this, so hit Control J to duplicate. And I don't want the HSL here. I'm going to turn off the bottom one. So the back top one here, I want to delete everything except the monochrome elements in it. So I'm going to do that with procedural texture. So I'm going to go to live filters here. There's going to be a little bit of a little bit of maths in this, but don't worry about it. If you're not into the maths, just copy and paste, and it's dead easy. So I'm going to hit plus here to add an equation here. I'm not changing red, I'm changing A for alpha, which is transparency. So, and the way we look at the, that maximum minimum, we can very simply say maximum of R comma G comma B, close brackets, minus the minimum, R comma G comma B. And then what happens here is I've got this here, but look at this here, I've actually got, I want to pull out the monochrome, but I've actually pulled out more of the colour, so the monochrome's disappeared. So I want to reverse that. So I'm going to go 1 minus this, because these values can only go up to 1, so 1 minus it kind of reverses it. And I'm going to put this in a bracket here, so I'm keeping all that together. And then I look at that. And the checkerboard pattern is where you're seeing through this, by the way. So we captured this, but we're still getting a lot of the colour in here. So a way of adjusting that is rather than just have max minus min, we can divide by max again. And this because we're sort of kind of focusing in more in the colour area. So I go divided by max r comma g comma b. And put that on. And this is now much closer to those black values. And I can leave it at just that, that because look here. Here's if I take this one off here, there's the original and there's this put on. So I'm literally, the original's not changed much, but I put on a lot of blacks here. And so, and the whites in the sky as well. So I can still go back to the HSL. I can adjust this any way I want. I can bring the colours out more, but the blacks and whites are staying black and white now. So I can bring this all the way down here. And if I turn the top off, see how the whole thing's gone dark. But now I'm keeping the blacks and whites. So I've got, I've got a ability to change a lot of the colouring in this here, just by having a top layer here in which the blacks and whites and monochromes are sustained. With that simple formula you can do more with it but I can leave it at that. If you're into procedural texture you can easily put variables on and so on. But otherwise just cut and paste from down below 
And what you can do with this, if I can go to the, up here with presets, I'm going to go to the hamburger here and say create a preset. Let's say keep mono and the category. I've got one down the bottom here, which is Dave's presets, but let's say my filters, whatever. You can put it anyone here. Say OK there. And then if I delete that, I want to put it back again. I go to live filters, procedural texture, go to a preset here and go down to what did I have for my filters there, keep mono. And there we go. I put that in as it was. And then we can go back here and play around with these, keeping that monochrome color. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.